Alright, hey everyone, I know it's been a little while, um, so between summer vacations and breaks and working on everything, um, there was a little bit of a lull, um, but now I want to kind of kick off the countdown to Profi OS 6. Um, so there's a lot of stuff still being worked on, um, but we're in kind of the, the final stages of getting ready for alpha testing, um, and we've actually been working on a lot of changes, additions, improvements, um, and as such, I'm now beginning to put together all the documentation, um, explanations, the write-ups, I'm actually starting a library um, for OS 6, that's going to take a while, so that's kind of a whole other subject, um, but there's a lot of stuff in the works. Um, so I wanted to kind of start this informal countdown um, as a way to kind of roll out some of the new content that I'm putting together. Um, so I do have one new video, it'll be on my channel, it's a little too long for here, um, but I also now am creating a uh, countdown to Prop OS 6 page. Um, so I'm going to have the link in the description. That page is actually going to be kind of a continuously updated, but what I did for the starters is just explain everything coming to OS 6. Um, so there's been a lot of questions, I've seen a lot of speculation, a lot, a little bit of misinformation, I think some misunderstandings. Um, so first and foremost, um, Profi OS 6 is not solely for the Profi Board V3. Um, the Profi Board V3 is, was in development, OS 6 was in development, so I can see the correlation. Um, but actually this Sabre is a 1.5 board, and the other two test sabers that I have, actually one of them is another 1.5 and one's a 2.2 board. So all the testing and all the development that I've been working on are on the older boards um, and everything runs perfectly fine. Um, obviously the V3 board coming, it'll run Prop OS 6, but the, um, the OS 6 is not being uh, based on or dependent upon the V3 board. So I wanted to just let everybody know that. The other thing is, um, OS 6 has been in development um, during the summer months, so uh, pretty much the last two months, um, Frederick and myself have had vacations, um, and uh, there's kind of been a lull just at work. There's also a lot of code, so Frederick's been having to review a lot of code, um, and then back and forth and doing edits. So that's the reason why there's kind of been a quiet time over the past few months. Some people kind of filled in the gap with their own speculations. It has, it, it's just been summer, people are enjoying their vacation. Um, but now we're getting back at it. Um, and then there's a couple other questions that I've heard, but um, alpha testing has not started yet, so it's not like we're leaving anybody out. So I'm doing all the testing, but I'm also doing a lot of this development, so that's why I'm testing. Uh, so anytime you hear people talking about testing, uh, official alpha testing has not started yet. Um, if you uh, look to GitHub, you will see uh, uh, some uh, merged code, you will see a lot of stuff coming in. It's still in the works, so some people have kind of dabbled into GitHub and they're you know, not sure what to do, that's because it's not finished yet. Um, as soon as it is ready, as soon as Frederick deems it ready, he will announce alpha testing, um, most likely through the Crucible. So if you're not a member there, definitely join. Um, but alpha testing will be open to those who want to test it. Now, um, when he announces it, I'm sure he'll put some caveats, but alpha testing isn't for brand new users um, because there's a lot involved um, in terms of just how often you're going to have to update, what you're going to have to look at, the kind of info. Um, so if you're kind of new to Profi, you're going to want to wait till we get the full, full release. And I know everybody's been waiting and is super excited. Um, but you are going to want to wait a little bit longer. Um, but once alpha testing is ready and announced, we'll move through that, try to debug everything. Beta testing will then be the next step, and then full release. So we still have a little bit of ways to go to full release, um, but I've actually been working on OS 6 for going on nine months, and I've beat the heck out of this thing. So I'm pretty confident in it, um, but there's pieces where uh, Frederick's really been helpful. So obviously, big thanks to Frederick for everything. So a lot of the ideas... Um, I would bounce them off of him. In some cases, I would try to put my own code together. Uh, he'd usually either help me clean up the code, he'd give me better ways to do stuff, and obviously now he's reviewing everything to get it merged. Um, so this has definitely been a collaborative effort, um, but I put a lot of my time in, both creating the code, coming up with the ideas, testing the code, debugging, get it submitted. Um, so I'm putting together a Patreon, so there will be information about that as well. Um, and that's kind of tied both to the development side, but also the library. So the new OS 6 library, I have started it. It's going to be completely new from the ground up, and I'm adding a ton of new stuff to it, um, all related to OS 6, all the new capabilities. And then there's such a laundry list, and this is partially my own fault. I kind of felt like a kid in the candy store once I started to learn how to do some stuff from Frederick, and I definitely went a little overboard. Um, so OS 6 is going to be a whole lot of new stuff. But I also had some questions about this. All the new stuff, or basically like 90% of the new stuff coming to OS 6 is going to be your choice to enable it. And you're going to be able to pick and choose via defines. Most of the stuff is running through my prop file at this point in time, so that will mean two button off the bat. 
Um, but we are going to have uh, SA22C, uh, uh, Stock, and then also Brian Connor um, will have their one button versions eventually updated, I'm sure. I can't guarantee everything that the two button can do, one button will do, just because thinking through it, there's so many fewer controls with one button. Uh, but I'm going to leave that to those gentlemen. So right now, if you're thinking, hey, I have a one button saber, I've never seen any mention of one button, that's because the two button code is going to be the start point and it's not completely finished yet. Once it's finished and once it's in alpha testing, the, the individuals who handle the one button saber, that'll be their time to kind of start figuring out how to massage that new code into their prop files. Um, so there is still further work needed to be done for one button. Um, and I'm sure those individuals will be able to explain more as they get into it. Um, so yes, at the start, all the stuff that you've seen, all the stuff you will see is based on two buttons. Doesn't mean that's how it's going to be by the time this releases. Just how it's been developed is always two buttons. Um, that's always been my preference and also just gives me the most flexibility. Uh, let's see. And then, so, uh, definitely check out the page. Um, I actually am going a little longer than I intended to with this video, uh, but I wanted to show you. So, I one of the first uh, new explanation videos that you're going to find on the uh, Countdown on the Prop EOS 6 page is Real Clash. Um, if you haven't seen the development videos, those are going to be on the site as well. Um, but Real Clash basically is going to let you have your Saber react to how hard it's being hit. And it's going to be a combination. So there's new effects that are going to be based on how hard the Saber's hit. But there's also the ability for you to set your sound font up. And that's what this new demo video or explanation video is going to be about, is how to set up your font. The nice thing is your uh, Clash and Begin and then Lockup setup, it won't interfere if you don't run the new uh, Real Clash. Um, so you can set it up and you can run it, but if you decide you don't want to run it for whatever reason, changing your font out and you really all you're doing is reordering your font isn't going to affect anything because of how Clash files are normally checked. But so this is a quick super demo and then I'm going to send you guys over to the site. Um, so I'm going to do a light hit. You'll see kind of a light, small effect. Um, it is responsive, so if I change blade angle or move, but lighter hits are choosing lower numbered Clash files. Um, so that you have kind of a shorter, quicker sound, a light, less sound. If I do a medium hit, I'm going to get a bigger explosion. And you'll notice my quillions don't light up on uh, medium or lighter hits. But now if I do a really hard hit, it's going to be a much larger flash. It's actually going to stay on the blade a little longer. You're going to hear a louder class sound, and it'll actually affect my quillions. So that was a really hard one. And that class sound has a little extra to it, and that's, again, part of that sound setup. So lighter, lighter, medium. And the idea behind it is now, instead of you just having like a really light tap, all of a sudden do this huge flash and this loud boom, now it's realistic in that it's measuring how hard the hit is. So when you have lighter, meteor, light or medium hits, You'll have different effects versus if you have really hard hits. And the length of time that the effects run and the sound is actually really based on the exactly how hard. So you can have kind of a semi-hard and a super hard hit and the, the graphics and the sounds are actually still also different. So um, I'll do it with, I know I talk over the class, so I'm going to do a couple light, a couple medium, a couple hard, and you can see the difference in the effects and I will now stop talking. So that's Real Clash. That's just one of the many, many new features coming to OS 6. Um, but the new page is going to have the information uh, related to setting your phone up. It's kind of like, in, in addition to counting down to OS 6, it's also going to help with the setup stuff. Um, there is going to be stuff you're going to set up in your font, stuff you're going to set up in your configs, as well as set up, uh, set up for new uh, styles, um, and your SD card. So um, I'm going to be rolling those videos out during this countdown period. Um, every time I add a new one, I will add it to the new page that exists, and I'll also obviously send updates out to everybody. But lots of great stuff coming. I'm really excited for everybody to get their hands on OS 6. I know it's been a long time, um, but that's just because we have so much coming. And there's stuff that I haven't shown that I've actually been working on during these summer months um, that'll be completely new that nobody's ever seen yet, and I'll announce that in the future. But it is on its way. Um, the countdown's beginning, so hope you enjoy.